Hi Year 7s, I'm going to do a demonstration for fried rice today. I'm going to make up my own recipe for fried rice, but it's up to you what you put in yours or you can follow the recipe we have up online. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to put into my fried rice. Okay, I've got some cooked plain basmati rice. I've got some capsicum. I've got some chopped up, but I'll chop, show you how to chop that up. Red capsicum. I've got some corn here. I have got some green peas. I've got some bacon chopped up. I've got some green prawns. Love prawns. I've got some chicken here that I've just chicken thigh meat that I've cut up into small cubes. I've got some coriander here that I've picked out of my garden. I've got some onion here. I just can't see. Just here I've got some uh, minced up garlic and ginger. And I'm going to cut up carrot and onion and get everything prepared for you to go. Okay, we're going to chop the carrot now. We want everything to be similar sizes. Okay, so I always cut so I've got a flat base so it's not wobbling around. I'm going to cut battens. Um, same with this one. So I'm making this so there's enough for my family for dinner tonight. So the one, the recipe that you have from school is for serves two. So if you want to make that for um, home, it's good to uh, double that recipe. So I've got some carrot there. I'll just put that to the side. I've got some beautiful coriander from my garden. It's gone on to seed a bit, but it'll still be nice. I'll chop that up. That can go through it as well. Okay. I'm going to turn this around and chop the onion. Now I want to just fine dice this and take the skin off. So you see that? I cut one way, then the other. Cut the ends off. Okay. I'm going to show you how to chop up the capsicum. Now all I do with the capsicum is just take that off. You don't want any of the white seedy bit. So just cut it into strips and then into a dice. You want them all about the same size. Okay. And uh, with the corn, I always like to get it, with the corn, I like to get it on the cob. And then you just need to cut it down like that. For my flavours or my aromatics, at the end of the, I've got some uh, Chinese five spice, I've got some soy sauce and some black sesame oil. And I always like to use fried shallot to go on top, which is fried spring onion. Okay, so I think I'm about ready to start. Okay, you sevens, I forgot to say that I'm also putting egg in it, but I'm going to make um, an egg omelette, which I just put two or three, these are little eggs, I'm going to use three eggs into a bowl and a little bit of sesame oil to flavour that, and then I'm going to whisk it up. I've got this pan on, I want it to be quite hot. I'm going to whisk this up. Put a little bit of oil onto the bottom of my pan so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to make an omelette, which I then will roll up and shred to put through the fried rice later. Pop a little bit of oil on the bottom. It's the peanut oil. If you had a bigger bowl, a bigger pan, you could have um, made it a really thin egg omelette. 
Okay, so this is cooked. So I'm just going to, only on one side, and then I'm going to just roll it up and take it out. And I'm going to slice it into um, smaller bits. My knife over here. I'm just going to slice it up like that, ready to go into my fried rice later on. As you can see, I've got all my ingredients over here ready to go and I've got my wok on. If you don't have a wok at home, that is fine. You can always use a, a large fry pan, something similar to that, just so you've got enough space to um, stir fry your ingredients. Okay, I've got this. I'm going to put a bit of peanut oil into this to um, start off. Peanut oil is really good for flavour. I'm just going to coat the bottom of the pan with some peanut oil. And I'm, first of all, I'm going to fry off my onion and garlic and ginger. Okay, I'm just frying off my onion. I don't want them to brown or anything. I just want it to get uh, sweated up. And I'm going to put some of my uh, chicken and put my chicken in and some bacon because this is all going to cook quite quickly they'll be about the, the same time as each other and toss it around okay i've been frying off the the chicken and the bacon i put a little bit of chili in there um it's probably been for about five minutes so i'm going to put in my carrots um, capsicum and some corn. Now I'll put this in in, um, in order of how fast things will cook. I've got a lot of ingredients here. Stir that up until you feel that your carrots are just starting to soften. Okay that's been about two minutes now and it's just starting to soften so I'm going to now add my prawns now the prawns don't take long to cook that's why they've gone in now you only have to cook the prawns until they start to change color and they go a bit of an orangey color now i've left the tails on and i've left them big but you could chop them off and chop the tails off now this will take about a minute for the prawns to cook through. Okay, the prawns are cooked now. I'm going to add some of my Chinese five spice. And I get do about a couple of teaspoons. I love Chinese five spice. Mix that through. And then I'm going to add some rice. Now, I've cooked more than what I need over here for rice, but I like to do it so I've got enough so then I can see when it's balanced. Now you want to break it up because you don't want it to be clunky. And you want to fry that off. Okay, so this is now nicely fried off. I'm going to pop my egg through there. And my peas. They won't take long at all. And now I'm going to add some soy sauce for flavour and salt. Now remember, I've added a lot more ingredients to mine, so you need a lot more. If you're following the recipe, I think it's a tablespoon of salt. Now remember, you always need to taste for season. I'm going to fork here, I'm going to taste this to see if it takes. That's really on. Now, oh, that's good. I put a bit of chili in before. Nice and salty. What I now I do love ketchup manas. It's a sweet soy. 
it's not going to come out now. <clears throat> and it uh, gives it a really nice salty sweetness to the rice. We've only got a little bit left. Stir that through. Taste for seasoning again. Delicious. And just last of all, pop your coriander and spring onions through. And now that is enough food there for I reckon about eight people. Okay, sevens, I've now got my big pot of fried rice, good size serving bowl. You want to get lots of those delicious veggies. Got that there. I'm going to, we've got some beautiful crispy shallots. Pop those on top. And I'm just going to clean the sides of the plate to make sure it's nice and clean. And voila. Dinner. Hope you enjoy making your fried rice, guys. Upload all the pictures. See ya.